Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to the Chinese Entertainment Update January 5th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 632 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, High Venus opens with an impressive 8.0 rating on Douban. Hung Tian Studios reveal Joy of Life Season 2 will begin filming soon. Hidden Blade with Tony Leung and Wang Yipo announces a Lunar New Year premiere. And Dilraba Studio slams pregnancy and other rumors and threatens legal action. But first, here's what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and yesterday. Wonderful Hand is a Republican-era drama starring Bosco Wong and Zhang Yixiang. It premiered earlier today. It follows a skillful and courageous doctor played by Bosco Wang and a rebellious rookie cop played by Zhang Yixiang as they deal with various cases that point to an old conspiracy. Wonderful Hand is slated for 23 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. Then there's the costume drama Ye Cheng, starring Yuan Hao and Jia Zi. It premiered earlier today as well. According to Douban, the drama follows the romance between an aristocrat's cross-dressing daughter and a business owner with multiple identities. Ye Cheng is slated for 16 episodes and is available on YouTube with auto-translated English subs. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, dramas that recently announced their premiere dates. First, there's Insect Totem starring Chang Ming-un and Hu Bingqing. A few days ago, the Republican-era drama announced a January 6th premiere. That's tomorrow. The drama follows a famous physician played by Chang Ming-un and a Chong tribe descendant played by Hu Bingqing as they discover a trail leading to the hidden treasures of the Chong tribe. Insect Totem is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on iQiyi. Then there's the costume drama Catch Up My Prince, starring Liu Yichang and Xu Rohan. The drama will premiere on January 8th. It was originally scheduled for December 24th, but was pushed. According to Baidu, the drama follows a medical intern and a game designer as they accidentally enter the mysterious virtual reality world the latter created. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Tencent. Alright, next up for drama updates, High Venus recently got its opening Douban rating. An impressive 8.0 from around 17,500 ratings for the modern romance drama starring Joseph Cheng and Liang Jie. On December 29th, the drama shared this poster on their official Weibo and quoted lines from the drama, I am not your savior, you are your own savior. They added, thank you all for your recognition and love. Hope that this winter you will be accompanied by your little savior and you will no longer be alone. The English title of the drama is High Venus, but the Chinese title is something that translates to I may have met my savior, which gives the aforementioned message a little more context. High Venus premiered on December 16th and aired the last of its 24 episodes earlier today. Those of you who followed it, how was it? And did you like the way it ended? Next up, some updates on Joy of Life Season 2. Sina Entertainment reported yesterday that the drama has more than 600,000 reservations and that Hung Tian Studios revealed that the drama will begin filming soon. The Joy of Life Season 2 saga continues. Will it be made? Won't it be made? When will it begin? Etc. Since Joy of Life Season 1 ended, fans have been asking those questions. On January 3rd, Sena reported that Joy of Life Season 2 had gotten more than 600,000 reservations on Tencent already, despite not even starting filming yet. The entertainment blog also urged the drama to start filming soon. Hung Tian Studios reshared the message and added, Soon now, I believe I've caught wind of it. Joy of Life is a 2019 costume drama that won many audiences over, myself included, with its story and acting. The drama stars Zhang Ruoyun, Wu Kang, Li Qing, and Xiao Zhan, among others. Fans of the show have been clamoring for a sequel, not least because it ended on a cliffhanger with a shocking scene between Zhang Ruoyun and Xiao Zhan's characters. Since 2020, there's been much talk about the sequel starting up, and thus far it's been just that, talk. 
when something official gets announced, I will update here. Hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. Maybe some of us can get the answers to the questions they left us with at the end of Season 1. Lastly, for drama updates, South Korea has bought the broadcasting rights for Seo Chan and Renming's The Longest Promise. That's according to this Sena article published yesterday. Reportedly, a South Korean station, it wasn't mentioned which, had licensed the Xianxia drama and will broadcast it when the time comes. The burning question, of course, is when will that time be? Unfortunately for those waiting for the drama, nothing official has been mentioned. The drama wrapped filming in August 2021, over 16 months ago. A South Korean TV station licensing the drama sounds like progress, but still, the wait continues. But while we're on the topic of Xiao Chan, here's a story I came across before the holidays that I thought I'd quickly share here. According to Sina, Xiao Chan recently showed a gesture of generosity by treating the entire crew of the stage play A Dream Like a Dream to milk tea. Reportedly, a crew member shared these images of refreshments on social media. The notes on there thanked Xiao Chan for the coffee, tea, cake, and soup. According to Sina, A Dream Like a Dream is currently playing. The news outlet did not mention if Xiao Chan is actually performing on it. At the moment, he's probably still filming the drama Sunshine With Me with Bye Bye He as they haven't officially announced a rap yet. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, a couple of film updates, beginning with Tony Leung and Wang Yipo's Hidden Blade. I'd previously referred to the Republican era spy movie as Nameless, which is the translation of its Chinese title. It now has an official English title. On December 31st, Hidden Blade shared this poster to announce that it will premiere on the first day of the Lunar New Year, which falls on January 22nd. I've long been a Tony Leung fan since his humble beginnings in Hong Kong. To his days of international acclaim, I've always enjoyed his work. Wang Yipo shot to fame in the drama circle with 2019's The Untamed. Of late, he's been doing quite a few movies. One of his latest, Born to Fly, was slated to hit theaters on September 30th, but was postponed just before that. Hopefully, Hidden Blade does not meet the same fate. As of today, Hidden Blade's official Weibo has only mentioned Tony Leung and Wang Yipo as cast members, but I've also heard that Zhou Xun is in there as well. This is not a still from Hidden Blade, it's one of Zhou Xun's previous works. Also, this image of Wang Yipo and Zhang Jingyi has been floating social media. It reportedly is from Hidden Blade. Zhang Jingyi stars in the recently aired drama Lighter and Princess with Arthur Chen. Hidden Blade is set in the 1940s during the War of Resistance and follows the many nameless agents who risk their lives to deliver intelligence to their leaders. The next film update has to do with Sakura, the big-budget wuxia flick starring Donnie Yen and Yuki Chen. There are two updates. The first is that they announced the film will stream on IGE, Tencent, and Yuku this year. There was no specific date given, but I will keep my eyes peeled for it. The second is that they shared a new batch of character posters. Here's Donnie Yen. And here's Yuki Chen. Xia Liu rounds out the three main cast members. Sakura is based on Jing Yong's 1963 novel Demigods and Semi-Devils. It will hit theaters in Malaysia and Singapore on January 16th, in Hong Kong on the 19th, and Taiwan on the 20th. That's it for film updates. Moving on to celebrity updates, and today we begin with Dil Raba. On January 3rd, Dil Raba Studio released a statement to say that they have started taking legal action against rumor mongers. Quote, the contents are purely malicious rumors and are created out of nothing. They seriously violate Dil Raba's reputation rights and have been a terrible influence. End quote. This came about because there had been quite a bit of chatter around the 30 year old star of dramas like The Blue Whisper and You Are My Glory. Dil Raba hadn't filmed any drama since Prosecution Elite wrapped last June. In recent months, many of her social media photos, including her popular outfit of the day ones, were of her wearing loose clothing. Apparently, this led to some netizens speculating that she was pregnant. Del Raba did not respond to these rumors. Instead, on New Year's Eve, she shared a batch of photos to wish everyone a happy new year. The photos showed off her slim waistline and seemed to shatter any baby bump rumors. Still, some netizens were relentless and claimed the photos were photoshopped. 
Others doubled down on the pregnancy rumors and claimed the star had gone overseas and was awaiting delivery. What was certainly photoshopped though was this other thing that started making the rounds on social media. In a now deleted post, a gossip blogger wrote, the woman is definitely Del Raba. guess who the man is? They shared images of Del Raba at the airport, and in one of them, she can be seen with a man in a hat and mask. This led to rumors of Del Raba being with a mysterious man, but as it turns out, the image was photoshopped. The original was a picture of Del Raba with a female staff member. Quite a brazen move by the gossip blogger, especially when you consider all the litigation that goes on in the Chinese entertainment industry. I wonder if that's enough though from a legal standpoint. Assuming the gossip blogger took those photos, sharing a photoshopped image and asking people to guess who the guy is is probably technically not illegal. But if Dilraba's side can prove that it caused malicious rumors, then maybe there's a case. In any case, Dilraba's lawyers are on it, and I guess they will find out. Alright, before we get to the next segment, a quick word on ExpressVPN. Now, whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, WeTV, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12 month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus here. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was Homesick with Wendy Zhang and Mei Ting. And the top TV drama was Bright Future with Hu Ke and Wu Yue. With Homesick and Bright Future already airing its finales, and with so many highly anticipated dramas currently streaming, I'm backing two new champions this week. I'm backing Unchained Love with Dylan Wang and Yuki Chen to be the new top web drama. And Flight to You with Wang Kai and 710 to be the new top TV drama. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.